Welcome to our on demand and online team center training. Now you can learn team center anywhere, anytime and at your own convenience. We are into our second session and today we will focus on team center overview. I am Naresh Y and I will be your host and guide as we take a look into overview of team center. Ok then let's get started. In this session we are going to continue with PLM concepts and then explore team center applications and then start with understanding the team center client interfaces like rich client and thin client. We'll start with basic PLM concepts and then take a deep dive into team center applications and then end with team center user interfaces. By the time we complete this session, you will be introduced to team center and most important team center modules and a quick view about the team center user interface. As discussed before in our previous session, PLM integrates product, process, lifecycle and people. By this, we are very much sure that PLM is not a simple tool, but it's a concept, it's a platform to manage entire product lifecycle that to efficiently and cost effectively from ideation stage to design, manufacture and then service till the product is decommissioned or disposed of. As we already discussed in detail in our previous session, how PLM spans across the entire product life cycle. So here is the PLM scope involving all the modules and internal and external teams working in collaboration on a single PLM platform. If you need detailed explanation about this, please refer to our first session on PLM overview. So let's start our team center journey. As we all know, team center is a PLM solution from Siemens industry solutions. Whatever we discussed till now about PLM and its concepts and scope, looking at this picture from Siemens, team center perfectly fits with the objectives and functionality of a PLM solution. Team center is widely used PLM solution across the world covering almost every industry vertical. You can name it aerospace and defense, automotive, heavy machinery, energy, high tech, pharma and many more industries. I can say Team Center is a very versatile PLM solution available in the market. Let's have a quick look at Team Center applications. One of the basic criteria of any PLM solution is to support engineering and R&D teams in their day-to-day -day activities. To achieve this, systems engineering concepts like planning, requirement gathering, product development and change management modules are critical during design phase. Then the most important functionality of bomb management and bomb configuration. Bill of materials of a product structure supporting multicad data and generating multiple bomb configurations is critical functionality. And managing all the related data in a single system will help in faster retrieval of data and reuse in future projects. This will have a direct impact on cost and time. Statistically, 80% of design data can be reused in R&D department. So, to store this data and reuse data, we use something called classification modules of Team Center, which is a one-stop shop for all reusable data. Then we look into workflows. Workflows are used to map the business processes of any organization. To manage any process, for change management, product development or any process, workflows can be effectively used to capture and track the progress of the any process. Once engineering team releases data for production, then comes the manufacturing department, which is responsible for creating process plans involving product, plant, tools and resources and, and then they are responsible for generating work instructions for shop load usage. In a nutshell, these five modules are high level applications or concepts in Team Center. Apart from this, there are a lot of focus on quality and Team Center MRO, which we'll explore later. So using all these applications, Team Center digitally manages the complete product lifecycle data. Let's explore and understand in detail about each Team Center application. 
first and foremost application every team center user will use is my team center my team center application is users workspace every user will have his own workspace where users can create and manage their data like documents specs parts assemblies 3d cad data you name it my team center is also used to search data check out and check in data complete workflow tasks and many other basic functions now comes the structure manager responsible for managing bill of materials this same application is also used for bomb configuration by configuration i mean to generate multiple bill of materials from a single bomb using variants and options then if we have more than one bill of material then we can effectively use structure manager to compare this bill of materials if we want to reuse existing bill of materials to create a new bill of materials or a product structure we have functionalities like duplicate bomb which can create a clone of existing bill of material as i already explained that workflows are used to map and execute the business processes of any organization this workflow application is extensively used in managing changes to build change management life cycle processes using workflows we can create workflow templates and initiate the workflow and assign the right people who can be part of review and approval mechanism as i said the best use case is a change management process but there are many ways we can use this workflows for you will learn more in detail in our advanced team center training sessions then comes the classification which is basically it is a one stop shop or we can call it as a digital library for all reusable data by reusable data we refer to tools resources process plans specs templates and and much more information classification is a placeholder for all reusable data in this application we store data in an hierarchical structure format and manage data in such a way that it is much easy and faster to search and then reuse this data in future projects and programs then comes the manufacturing process management this is a module used to create process plans by manufacturing planners once engineering department releases the bomb for production manufacturing department comes into picture to create manufacturing bill of materials plant structures tools and resources using this data manufacturing planners will create process plans consisting of sequence of operations activities time management and at last generating work instructions for shop floor team these are the few important modules in team center covering engineering and manufacturing business processes we have more applications like team center mro process simulate on team center quality and other applications which we'll explore in future all this data which we discussed till now is created and accessed through team center client user interfaces we have two types of most used client interfaces namely rich client and thin client rich client is having full functionality and is available both on two tier and four tier installations this rich client is installed on client machines coming to the thin client it's also called web client from team center 9 version there is lot more functionality available in thin clients thin clients are web based team center clients mostly used by managers for viewing data and review and approval of workflows but i think in future we will have full functionality even on thin clients so we have come to the end of this session in this session we explored about team center modules and learned about some core modules of team center and also about usage of few core modules in our next session we will focus on configuration of team center client and we will also do some live activities directly in team center application so in next session you will be exposed for the first time to team center software so don't forget to watch our next sessions thank you for your time bye for now and see you soon